so with the help of Mr. Burkout and myself, Mr. Grodsky, we're here to demonstrate um, about physical and chemical properties. And we're going to do that through the use of some fun bubbles. We're going to start with propane bubbles. And what I'd like you to do is observe the physical and the chemical properties. Of course, physical, we have physical intensive, which is based on the uh, identification, the physical properties we can use to identify, like density or color. And of course, we have the extensive physical properties that we talked about based on the size of the sample. So through the use of the physical and the chemical definitions and properties, we're going to try to make some observations. Okay, so I'm taking some propane through some bubble solution. And we're going to notice something about this propane bubble. Okay, notice I'm starting high. Mr. Burkout's got his flame low. And we're going to try to drop this bubble onto his flame. Okay, I'm over one already. So I'm trying to make a bubble. Notice I'm starting in a way that should demonstrate one of the bubble's physical intensive properties. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And notice how it burned and the color that it burned. Okay, notice it flamed out looking for the oxygen. Okay, to, it's not an easy thing to make bubbles filled with different gases, so here we go. Here comes a nice propane one. Whoa. Woo. Okay, one more for fun. It's always about fun. Notice how it burned, the color. Okay, was that a chemical or physical change you just witnessed by that flash? Okay, and notice how the bubble's falling down. Is that a physical or chemical uh, property? Whoa. Cool. All right. Now that's propane. So now I'm going to change things up. I'm going to make some hydrogen filled balloons. Okay. And I'm going to do so with some zinc and hydrochloric acid. And that's going to be my hydrogen generator. And I'm going to use the same bubble solution. Except this time, these bubbles are going to start low. And notice something different about these bubbles. Okay, I have the same problem making them, that's what you notice. Okay, these have a different density. Notice that wasn't a flaming out as the propane did. Okay, these tend to do what, party people? Yeah, they're popping. Certainly one of these two gases is good for a fuel to cook with, one I would never cook with. Hope you can guess which one that one is. I'll do one more for fun, and you should be able to notice the different physical and chemical properties. Notice the color of the combustion. All right. Thanks for playing. Hope we made your identifications, and that's it.